Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Today we are taking a look at Patrick Cantlay's golf swing. Patrick Cantlay just won the FedEx Cup. Incredible player, just won the playoff with Bryson the week before and a pretty unique golf swing, a lot to kind of pick apart and that's what we're going to dive into and start doing right now. So we're going to start off with Patrick Cantlay's iron swing, then we're going to move into the driver. So let's do it guys, let's dive straight in. So first of all, Patrick Cantlay iron swing down the line. Setup, really, really good setup. With most of these tour players, setup is pretty perfect. With most amateurs, it's not, and that is quite a big difference. Probably, maybe even the biggest difference between professionals and amateurs is they are starting in the right position. As we, well, first of all, posture, excellent, alignment, great. As we start to play this club back, we're gonna pause this kind of parallel to the ground here. Now at this position, it looks pretty orthodox. You've got club face square to the spine angle, perfectly kind of down the line, club head in line with the hands, you know, nothing out of order there at all. Good one piece takeaway, starting to pivot and turn with the, uh, with the hips and with the shoulders, keeping that nice triangle between the arms and shoulders. As we take this to the top, we're gonna notice club works in a little bit deep, and then it starts to move up to the top. See those hands raising up to the top. And if we pause this at the top of the backswing, a few really interesting things happening. First of all, let's look at the body. Lower body, great pivot, great turn. You can see loaded into that kind of right heel. Really good there. Kind of right hip has moved back deeply quite nicely there, allowing him to have this big shoulder turn. You can see we look at his shoulders they're actually almost pointed down at the ball now this is kind of what we want we want you know that big coil up through the spine to have quite a fairly steep shoulder plane is a pretty good thing in your golf swing especially with irons and also if we look at the arm structure pretty interesting arm structure you can see the club itself is kind of down the line, if not verging a little bit on across the line with a very square club face. Now it's kind of in that position, mostly I would say because of the right arm. If you look at the right elbow, the right elbow is kind of a little bit deep, a little bit in behind him, and a little bit uh, away from the body. Quite a lot of bend in the right elbow, but a little bit away from the body. And also, it's kind of, he, he has a lot of internal sh shoulder rotation at this point, meaning he's getting that right elbow deep, and then on the way down, he can externally rotate his right shoulder. And so as we start to play this down, it drops the club in behind him, externally rotating that right shoulder, laying off the club, it gets shallow, comes in a lot flatter. And if we pause this at parallel to the ground, we can see he's gotten himself into a really, really good position here. That club almost matching up with where he had it in the takeaway. He, first of all, if we look at the lower body, great clearance already, great posture, great kind of forward bend in the hips here, putting pressure into the ground. You can see with a little bit of knee bend at this position. Great arm structure with the club working back out in front of him. He's able to get that right elbow. Uh, in front, well, very connected to his body and back out in front of him with that external right shoulder rotation, which I mentioned. The club is in a great position, club face matching his spine angle, his excellent posture, excellent spine angle, and as we play this through into impact, we'll pause it at impact, we can kind of see he comes through with a fairly uh, strong-ish club face, fairly, you know, not closed, but strong club face, and because of this, he has to rotate and turn out of the way. And you can see that he is open with his hips and open with his shoulders whilst the arms still remain connected to the body. And we can see a lot of pressure going through his left side through the ball. You can see, you know, that right foot. He hasn't lifted his right heel up too much, which is good. Putting a lot of pressure through the ball, really compressing the ball nicely. If we play this through, watch this. Watch the club face. It's actually going to roll over pretty quickly as he extends the arms. That club face closes pretty quickly before kind of coming up over his left shoulder into that classic kind of Patrick Cantley 
balanced finish position. Let's just play this back a few times for you guys, just uninterrupted. And if guys, if I have missed anything, do comment down below. Love to hear your thoughts. I think, it, you know, he's obviously playing very, very well at the moment. I would love to know, do you think it's his long game or do you think it's his putting or short game? Or, you know, what are your opinions on the strengths of Patrick's game, which enabled him to win the FedEx Cup? A few of my favorite things about Patrick's swing is his posture. Um, his setup, kind of, I like the positions he gets the club into. Firstly, at parallel to the ground in the takeaway, and then back at parallel to the ground uh, in the downswing, and also at impact. Just excellent, excellent positions to get yourself into. That posture is really, really good there. Now, guys, let's take a look at Patrick Cantlay's iron swing from front on. Again, this is a really, really important thing angle to take a look at and understand Patrick Cantley's golf swing. So here we have him at setup. Pretty neutral setup. One thing just draw your attention to, look at his left foot, look at how his left toes are flared out. This is to help you kind of rotate and clear your hips on the way through and also to take a little bit of pressure off that left knee. I highly recommend if you don't do this in your golf swing, do this with pretty much every club. Flare that left toe out to about 45 degrees. Um, most of the best players in the world do it and it's something Tiger Woods does and has recommended a lot of people to do. Uh, so again, it's set up. He doesn't have much forward press, hands are a little bit behind uh, kind of where you'd expect them to be, but as we take this club back, big wide takeaway, you know, we can see not too much early wrist set. If we play this all the way to the top, coiling up through his spine, we'll pause it at the top few really important things to understand in Patrick Cantley's golf swing. First of all, I love this position in terms of his body. You can see that right hip has moved deep in behind him. Big, big shoulder turn, pretty flexible guy. Keeping the hands and arms in front of the chest, very wide golf swing. The wrists, uh, you know, there's about a 90 degree angle between the club shaft and his left arm. So big turn, using the ground, loaded up into that right glute, that right heel, the inside of the right foot, really good there. And then as we play this down, pretty simple golf swing. All he does is kind of turn out the way, stays pretty central. No great weight shift really in this golf swing. And as we come down, and we'll pause this at impact, we can see obviously a lot more shaft lean here than when he set this up at address and compressing that golf ball really, really, really nicely. And then if we play this through, extending the arms hard down the line, you can see that club face rolling over as he swings through to that classic balance finish with that weight coming now onto his left side. Again, let's just play this back for you guys. Let's play it back a few times. Again, guys, if there's anything I've missed, you think, from this position, let me know. I would say, honestly, the body positions from, from this angle, pretty much anyone could copy. The one thing I would maybe recommend is maybe getting a little bit more of a lateral weight shift in the downswing. Patrick Cantlay stays fairly, uh, fairly central, rotating around one axis. If you could get maybe a little bit more of a lateral shift left, you maybe create a little bit more power and maybe compress the ball a little bit better. But, you know, Patrick Huntley, one of the best players in the world, does his, this is his move. He does this very, very, very well. So now, guys, let's take a look at Patrick Cantley with the driver. Patrick Cantley, driver swing down the line here. And first of all, again, setup. Nothing too much to note, pretty classic setup, nothing I haven't already noted. So let's take this club back. And we will pause this parallel to the ground again. Again, pretty, pretty classic, you know, club face very close to matching his spine angle, big one piece takeaway. You can see the right hip already starting to move deeper and move back, give him that space to rotate and turn in the backswing. As we start to play this to the top, Again, kind of the arms move deep and then they move up and above the shoulder plane. And if we pause this at the top, guys, we can see Patrick Cantley's hands do get a bit higher with the driver. It does kind of get a little bit more width, especially if we look at that right arm, right elbow. 
you can see that right arm much further away at this position to the body, helping him create a bit more width, a bit more power as well, getting a little bit more internal shoulder rotation that he can then externally rotate his shoulder as he comes down, as you kind of would do if you were throwing a ball, going from there to there with that kind of shoulder moving from this position into that position as you start to swing down. Really, really good position here. We can kind of see club face maybe a little bit close, just, just in terms of he probably has a grip that's maybe a couple degrees closed. But big turn, big shoulder turn, really like that, using the ground well. Again, look at those body positions, really great there. As we start to play this down, watch this. His hands are going to move down as that right arm the right shoulder externally rotates, that right elbow moving back out in front. This gets the shaft laying down, shallowing a bit flatter. And as we put, as we pause this parallel to the ground, you can see, you can kind of see from this position what the right arm has done from the top, what the right shoulder has done from the top of the swing with that elbow moving back out in front of him as he's rotating really hard. Look how hard he's clearing the hips here with a great arm structure from this position and then as we play this through it down into impact and we'll pause it at impact again open hips open shoulders great connection with the arms here you know there's not much to go wrong in this move he does have a little bit of rotation with the hands and club face through impact if we play this through again we're going to see the face roll closed pretty quickly and that's, I think, maybe the reason a little bit narrower on the way down and a little bit of club face rotation, why we maybe saw him, you know, lose a few drives occasionally off to the right or left when he's under pressure. But, you know, incredible, still incredible swing. Let's just play this back again a few times for you guys. So you're going to see those hands kind of move in deep and then lift up above the shoulders and then on the way back down they move back deep and then out and in front of him and then you know big release through the ball maintains the posture still really well maintains his spine angle pretty well you know not really much to go wrong there very 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 good move from Patrick Cantley and again let's just take a look at front on with the driver again helps us all understand his golf swing a little bit better. Again, from this position, you can see those left toes, the left foot just flared out about 45 degrees or so. Again, from this position, we can actually see how far behind the ball he has his hand set at address. And then as we take this, but fairly central, good setup. Again, as we take this club back, big, big wide takeaway, big turn. Look how central he stays with his turn and with his pivot. And if we pause it parallel to the ground, well, if we pause it, sorry, top of the backswing, just short of parallel to the ground. Uh, well, huge shoulder turn, great. I love how, even though he gets that right elbow like quite far away from his body, actually he keeps the hands and arms very much in front of himself and that's not easy to do. Big turn, big load in the lower body, big shoulder turn, using that spine really well, coiling up through that spine, creating power. You can see how much he's loaded into that right foot, firmly planted into the ground. And as we start to play this down, we're going to squat a little bit into the ground, rotate pretty centrally. You can actually see if we pause it parallel to the ground here, look at how much bend there is in his left arm. That is quite interesting. You know, he's kind of pulling those arms back out in front of him and actually bending that left elbow. And you can also see from this position, it's a little bit narrow. Exactly what I was kind of just talking about a second ago. Just gets a little bit narrow. And then from this position, he has to kind of save it a little bit with the hands. That's why he, if we play it down into impact, he straightens that left arm out almost back to straight. And then here at impact, you can see that club shaft pretty much vertical. And he stayed at kind of behind it, centrally rotating. And then if we play this through, again, we'll see he'll have to release those hands down the line quite hard, extending that right arm, extending the arms down the line as he comes through to that balance finish and stays pretty central, kind of stays behind it. No great lateral 
weight shift there. Let's just play this back a few times for you guys. Get uh, guys again. If you, I've missed anything, if you think there's anything else I should have mentioned, do comment it down below and let me know what you think of Patrick Cantlay's golf swing. It's definitely his own golf swing. There's some really really good things in there as well as maybe a few little quirky things that he kind of makes work for himself. And that's probably an important lesson to understand in your own golf swing. We're, we're all going to have probably some, you know, little things in there that maybe aren't technically perfect, but we kind of can make them work with our own movement. They probably suit our body, they suit the way we move, etc. Suit our biomechanics. And the last swing we'll look at is just Patrick Cantlay with a wedge swing as you know one of the best wedge players in the world here and as we have this pause that set up again nothing new to mention there really just a great neutral setup as we play this back again we're going to see the kind of club working a little bit deep i won't pause this we'll just slowly play this to the top it kind of works deep and up to the top and again if we pause this at the top you can see how the hands are a little bit lower here with a bit more connection with the right arm than with the driver swing we just saw and then as we start to play this down again the arms hands kind of drop down in front of him and as we pause this the impact or just after impact again still rotating quite a lot with the lower body keeping great connection with the arms and as we play this through kind of holds on to that club face here actually doesn't really let it release over almost a little bit of a chicken wing in that left arm as he comes through you can see that kind of a bit of bend in that left arm as he kind of brings the club lower holding on to that almost a little bit Jordan Spieth -esque. let's just play that back once or twice for you guys and again let me know what you think of this wedge shot here looks about a 70 80 yard shot maybe Guys, that is Patrick Cantlay's golf swing. I've just dropped two other videos. If you want to see more swings of Patrick Cantlay's, check them out on my channel. I dropped a video uh, with all his driver swings and then another video with all his iron swings. There's loads more uh, golf swings in there from front on and down the line with drivers and irons. Feel free to check out those videos. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Next videos I'm planning to do is actually going to be John Rahm's golf swing. And I'm thinking maybe we take a look at Patrick Cantley versus John Rahm. Some very, very, very different golf swings, very different mechanics there. Let me know if you guys want to see that video. I will see you in the next one, guys. As always, comment down below, subscribe, like this video. I reply to all your comments. And as always, guys, grip it and rip it.